one hour and 55 minutes, guys, is all I have left. That's all we have. That's it. So I've got to make this video quick. I'm actually not going to do all the video on my account because I think I don't want to use all the time. But welcome back, guys, to another market video. Um, today's video is going to be just a lot of market in general. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I got the camera set up, so finally we're at a good angle. I don't look like I'm a midget because I streamed yesterday and it was at a high angle and it kept falling back. So I finally have it in a good place. Should be good now. Hopefully you guys enjoy that upgrade. Should be a lot nicer. Um, yeah, man. Welcome to day three of FIFA 20 in my books. Um, I have one hour and 55 minutes left. Rip to all the people that don't have time left. Now, guys, I want to tell you guys something about the access glitch. A lot of people are talking about PS4. There's a glitch. Be careful on that new glitch that's coming out. Um, you guys have to be careful because on that glitch, you don't have the ability to play online. And I'm worried that it's going to do that to your account all year. So just be very careful, guys, doing that new glitch. And if you do decide to do it, just make sure you'll be okay with it if you're not playing games all year online. That's a huge beating. Um, even if you hate Foot Champions or Weekend League, that sucks to not be able to play online games for the whole year. So just keep that in mind if you guys are you know, going to do that glitch. don't. I'm going to recommend not to do it. But we have a video today on when to sell players. And more importantly, I want to start off with you guys show you guys some of the stuff in the account and walk you guys through some of the moves I made last night. I'm trying to be very transparent with you guys and tell you guys in every video how to make coins. And look, I think I'm doing a decent job of that. So if you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. Again, comments down below. Yesterday's video uh, at night, I did not ask you guys to do comments, but comments down below today. How is your road to glory looking? How are you guys doing this today? Day three, how, how many coins do you have? Where are you at? So before I went to sleep, guys, I looked at some cards and I looked at some trends and I knew that today, look, Saturday is going to be a very popular day for FIFA because football's on and it's a new game where a lot of people are going to be able to finally try. So I bought an Oreo before I went to sleep at 20, 20K. We're going to sell them for 23 today. That's where we're going to go. Malin, this is how I knew this was a buy. 16,250 and I didn't even get, I didn't even get like cheeky little bins. I just picked up the cheap, I picked up the cheapest. I didn't even get a snipe. Now he's 20K. I knew this was a good buy guys because yesterday on my stream, when I was trading on the game, I was buying him at 17 and I was selling him at 19. So I already knew that when he dipped down to 16 last night, that he would totally rebound today. And it looks like he right now, he's closer to 21,000 coins at the moment. So that's a really nice look. We're going to actually make a solid like 3 to 4K on each of these, which is going to be a really nice profit. Another one that's really interesting is Jesse Lingard. Now, Jesse Lingard, guys, yesterday, he hit 6,000 coins. Last night, he dropped down to like 4.95. So I ended up sniping a ton. You guys can see here with the bids. He is up a lot. Now, what makes Jesse Lingard so good and, and, and volatile on the market? Well, it's because he's an EPL cam. And if you guys look positionally, EPL cams struggle a little bit just in terms of the availability. So Jesse Lingard is always going to be a really good player to trade with. He's going to be one of those ones um, that early on, early on in foot, early on in foot, guys, um, early on in foot, just man, man, he's, he, he's, he's so solid. So really, really like that card. And then, uh, yeah. That's Jesse Lingard right there. Um, so we're going to list them up for 6.4, and that's how we're going to do it. Uh, so we have Party here as well. Uh, Party is 7.5K, and we bought Party last night at 6.1, so we're going to list them at 7.4. What I'm going to do with you guys, man, is I'm going to show you guys exactly everything I bought, the reasons why I bought them, and then we're going to show you guys some players on the keeper sell situation because I know a lot of you guys are wondering about that keeper sell, so we're going to talk about that, and hopefully I can inform you guys a little bit on on the whole kind of keep or sell thing so we'll talk about that in a minute um look hopefully you guys are enjoying the game that's another thing that i wanted to point out to you guys like just hope you guys are are taking the most of what we got so far i mean i know it's really tough because i don't have a copy i'm in this with you guys it kind of sucks to not have the game but it is what it is havertz guys picked up at 26 when he got a price range update i think now he's like 33 uh 34 so that's going to be some really solid coins we're going to try to make sure that we get some sales today uh just due to the fact that I got to get some coins in because I only have 6K at the moment. Uh, so it's something I definitely want to do. I want to get some coins here. And then uh, Lucas Mora, we bought at 41K and I think he's like 50K now. I knew that was going to be a good buy, guys, just th just for the fact that Lucas Mora is so in demand uh, at the moment. People just like love him. And then I talked about Joe Gomez in my video yesterday. I said, get on him, guys. A lot of people are going to use this card. And I bought a ton at 4K the other night. And now he's 6.5. So that's a really good look. He'll probably end up going up to about 10K towards the end of the week is my guess. He's just too popular. He's too popular not to go to that point in, in my eyes. So now we move on into the market. Should you keep or should you sell players? That's a very tough question. Um, there's no easy way to say it. For me, the market trend is going to keep going up. I'll tell you guys when I feel like it's different. But for the meantime, I think it's very important that you understand the difference between keeping or selling or when should you sell players. Let me give you guys an example. 
of a keeper sell question. So let's say you pack Eden Hazard, okay? Now, Eden Hazard is a player that's 600,000 coins at the moment, all right? 500K. I think with once the watch, at this rate, he's going to hit like eight or 900. The market inflation this year is going to be crazy. So price predictions, throw them out the window. Everything is going to just be insane. But if I pack this player, and let's say you had 20K without this player, take the money. 600K could go a long, long way right now. Now, let's say you have 5K, and you're looking at, a, you know, you're looking at, I keep selecting Hugo Sanchez. I'm not trying to select him. Let's say you have 5K, and you're looking at a Mats Hummels, right? This is another one that would be an interesting situation. Hummels is an 87 rated, and he's 15K or 16K, but I think in two weeks' time, he'll go up. But if you look at the card and what he offers, there's not much there. There's not really anything, actually, in terms of what he offers. It's not really a good card at all, as you guys can see. He's high medium. He's got 51 pace. He's got 64 agility with 46 acceleration. So in terms of usability, he's not really usable. So if he's 15,000 coins, yeah, could he be 20 to 25 or 30K in a week? He could. But I think in the meantime, you take the 15K because I think the rise percentage on him is like less than 15%. Um, so that's what I think, guys. I think, I think the rise percentage on him is not going to be as high as a meta player. And I think you guys got to try to use that knowledge to understand really what the hell to do with some players that you guys pack or anything like that. And the same thing for me would go with like David Silva. This kind of guy, I think you got to, I think with this kind of guy as well. I think he's an EPL cam, so he may rise a little bit more than a Hummels. But I think when you look at keepers as well, I think keepers is another like really big one to look at and try to figure out and understand. Because Ter Stegen's a keeper that's pretty meta for La Liga, but he's also kind of an SPC fodder. So I would assume that in a week's time, he'll probably get up to about 60K. But look, is it worth it for you to ride out the whole time? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it for you the whole time, um, the whole time to go and ride out, guys. I'm not sure about that. So... That one I might take the money on as well. These are these interesting situations where you're not really sure what to do. Consumables, if you guys do have the ability to keep them, I would say 100% I would keep consumables. There's no reason you guys should be like selling consumables off. I just don't think it's that necessary. But I understand this question of when should you sell players is huge. Really, guys, the, the ideal time to sell players, like the absolute ideal time, would be to sell players in the first weekend league. That would be the most ideal time and then obviously if you have a lot of coins let's say you have upwards of i'm going to just say you guys have upwards of potentially maybe some people have a million coins watching my videos okay i know a lot of you guys don't but let's say some of people do if you pack spc fodders in terms of like hummels in terms of goalkeepers that are high rated honestly if i were you guys i probably wouldn't sell because that stuff is going to be an amazing investment for your club i'm actually going to make a video talking about those probably in the next few days where if you do have some spare coins, that's something really nice to put your coins into. Having those extra little high-rated cards in your club might go a long, rate, a long way when they drop the next SPC. We've got a player of the month, Lewandowski, obviously on the come up pretty soon. So that's another thing that you know you should keep in the back of your in the back of your in the back of your brain. Um, but I think it's really important. Now a lot of people always go asking me with this team of the week, Nick. What do we do with the team of the week? Right? That's another big thing. I, what I'm telling people is that team of the week is going to rise every day. That's what's going to happen. Slowly, it's going to rise every single day. But in the long term, guys, um, I think you can take the money on it because I think even though it's going to continue to rise, I'm so big on putting coins elsewhere. So somebody asked me yesterday, should I keep or sell Inform Neuer? And I told him to sell it because he was 155K. And I said, look, Neuer out of packs is going to be like 250. But that's in a week. And I think you can do a lot with the coins. The same thing goes with all these guys. The only player from the team of the week that I've really been keep telling people – People telling people to keep has been De Jong and Mane because those two right now, the rates that they're going up and the percentage that they keep rising per day is just insane. Like the way the amount they go up every single day is stupid. So that's why I keep telling people if you have De Jong or if you have um, Mane to keep on those. But yeah, I mean, my biggest thing, guys, I'd say if you have any of these kind of players on the popular section of flipping, this is all stuff that I would keep because people are just going to keep paying and paying and paying for them. They're, they're not going to go away. Um, if you've made it to the popular section of flipping, you're a very in-demand player. Now, I think it, I think this 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 rises a big discussion with a guy like Marcus Rashford. Like, what would we do with that? 71,000 coins on the market, 83 rated. Very, very meta card, though. Like, very popular card amongst people. This is a, a more interesting discussion about what to do with him. Honestly, for this guy, I do think he's going to go to like 100 or 95,000 coins. But I might take the money on him because I love 70K. I love the ability to go ahead to reinvest that. I think that's a lot of coins 
that you guys can go and do something do something with that elsewhere. That's that's kind of my my biggest thing with Rasher. But I think at the end of the day, guys, with this this when should I sell players thing, it comes down to you. I think with a guy like Jaden Sancho, you don't sell him because I think he's still gonna be on the rise. Same with Son. I think even like Pepe, when you have a guy like Pepe that's gonna get a one's the watch very soon, Pepe just is gonna keep going up because you're gonna have this possibility that Pepe's then gonna be out of packs, which is a massive, massive deal. So that's a big deal within itself. Ben Yedder's almost in everybody's team. So I think Ben Yedder's just gonna keep rising. Eder Militao is gonna keep going up. People were asking me last night about Usman Dembele, and I was telling them, look, I actually said something to a few people because he was back on the market last night. Um, I don't know if I already scrolled past him. I think I scrolled past him. But Dembele was back on the market last night for like the first time in a long, long time. So I was like, yo, go on and get him because he's going to be extinct again in the morning or he's just going to have a price range update and be a lot more coins. So right now, again, he's extinct. He's actually at the 50K mark. Xbox guys, you should look into that. What I would say is another really, really nice thing you guys can do to compare prices. Look between consoles. So if you're on Xbox look at ps prices i've been looking at xbox prices a lot that's how last night i knew to buy jesse lingard because i looked at the xbox price and the xbox price he was like seven thousand coins you guys can see he's still trailing so i still think lingard has a chance today to go up even more on this console um it's the, the trends always seem to somehow align themselves in a way that i can't really explain it just seems like every single time i'm looking at trends they always follow each other console to console so i think it's a really important thing uh to look at and understand because trends are everything man trends really really makes sense if you look at them between both consoles so guys all in all man there's not a right answer in terms of keeping or selling you guys have to do what you guys want to do with the selling the players um you have to decide if you have leftover or spare coins i don't think you have to like sell 89 rates because like that over time can really grow in your club but if you really need coins i wouldn't be sitting on a sergio busquets at 25k for a week trying to get a sale Praying to the praying to the FIFA gods for a sale, when ultimately I just think he's a, he's a, he's a 25k you know thing that you can get in your club, you can grab those coins and then you guys can move elsewhere. And I think that's I think that concept is really important. That if you do choose to sell a player, just make sure that you guys are going to go and trade, go and use the coins to invest, go and do something like that. Don't just sell a player, whoever it is, whether it's an SBC fodder or a meta player. Don't just do that and then go away and just like not do anything and then be like. I had a guy the other day, I forget what he was asking me about, I think it was like Neymar and Mbappe, and I was like, man, look, if you go ahead and you sell this for, I think it was 850, you better go do something with the coins because it's going to rise 300k, but think about how much 850,000 coins is on day one of FIFA, it's a lot of coins, I know this guy rolls 300k, I get it, but if he made a team, I think, with the 850,000 coins, a meta overall team, he would have made bank, I think bank, so that's how I look at it, and it's got to come down to your situation the time you can spend, etc., etc. So thank you guys for watching the video today. Glad you guys are enjoying the uploads. Much love to all of you. Happy FIFA 20 and see you guys in the video tonight. Peace out.